Welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War Carthage Campaign Episode the 159th with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we had, well, kind of lost a battle, but we won a battle as well. So it was a win-lose, lose-win, half and half, pepperoni pizza. Anyway, <clears throat> what happened last time? Well, we had a fight against Captain Amonos, managed to take him down. The losses were Fire! present in the battle, but for now, we are in a bit more of a stable position but we are going to try and just pull away from these enemy armies a little bit just because I don't want to take them both on at once and I'd rather wait until reinforcements arrive before we try and push against these armies and try and secure our border once and for all uh, we lost a battle here at Croton unfortunately it just went wrong the reinforcements just completely fucked it up the baseball park so um have to regroup and rethink before we uh, make our move on Croton again. And as for Captain Mikerton, he found he's finding himself a little bit lost. However, he could manage to run back to Tarentum and he might manage to make it back to safety and not get killed. So that's where he's going to go today. Except all his forces aren't going to squeeze in. So, right. Let's put in whatever's most valuable. So Poenis and Sacred Bands get to go in as a priority. And to have some of those Sacred Bands are probably going to get murdered and squashed. So... As it stands, the Iberians are getting an entryway in, but let's just have a quick look here. Right, let's merge you and you, and there we go. Right, I'm going to get rid of these little guys here, because, you know, yep. And then we'll put you in there. Good, right, Tarentum's fine for now. We'll just retrain what we can. And then we'll move from Tarentum in a turn's time and make another attack on Croton. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. We'll just keep up more bad with this army. And we are going to retrain here with whatever escape from Masana after that little dis well not whatever escape to Masana after that little disappointing fiasco over there. Looks like the Brutti have also mobilised another large army in the form of Captain Cornelius. Um, that's a big army to deal with. Not quite sure where it's headed at the minute, but we'll have to observe. Timerson, you're heading back to Eretium after your little battle. There's nothing for you to retrain, so for now we'll just focus on recruiting an additional unit of slingers. But we'll make our move soon. We are getting a few armies now to the point where we're going to start sitting around and possibly challenging the Senate. See if we can lure them over and start fighting them. But Rome will be left till last because drama and stuff. Juba, have you done anything this turn? I don't think you have. But you could kill Nero Aranius and just keep wiping out all these new guys who keep coming in. So once more we're just gatekeeping the Romans. So let's just keep on doing that. Oh no, come on, you had an 80% chance, my dude, right, that's annoying. Um, so yeah, so our main objective today is we are going to be focused on Capua and Croton. Uh, I am actually sending for troops anyway, Ships Admiral Philosia is actually heading up to Segesta to pick Hi, up some lord. troops, uh, which are heading over in from Mr. Ubusius. So he's going to rock on sire. in about uh, two turns time. And then we are going to ship out to Capua, take that town, hold out, and then, well, we'll take it from there, really. Um, or at least we're going to go for Siege Towers, most likely against the city, because I don't have the onagers, but I think that might work out in our favour. Mr. Fiegis, you are to head to Medial Learning, just to provide an additional garrison, and then we can stop all this peasant recruitment crap there. Excellent, right. So in terms of battles, there might not be too much to do this turn, just because we have been knocked off a little bit off balance in uh, southern Italy. Uh, and also, I'm not really intending to fight the Egyptians again at the second, just while we wait for reinforcements to come. So we're going to start just adminning this turn, and then we'll move on to the next one, most likely, before we uh, have any further plans. But Admiral Chermes, I do want you to land at... Uh, I want, do want you to land at Rhodes, and I want you to get me a readout on the garrison in Rhodes, because that's my next target for an invasion, and it looks like I might just be able to send a small strike force to take that town, so that's quite good. So I'm trying to select my dude, but I can't because of a stupid bloody statue, so right, get in there and find out what the situation is in Rhodes, please. Okay, so the garrison is extremely weak. It looks like it's a moderately strong town as well, so it'll have some use to us. Okay, that's cool. Chermes, make your way back to port because you're not exactly in the best position yes, in the world, but taking roads should be easy. Sire. As will be Halicarnassus, actually, which will be a very valuable place to take when we get access to a mausoleum. Um, yeah, basically just pinching up a few wonders. I mean, we could take the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus as well. Yeah, we're going to just help ourselves to bits of this area. Anyway, let's make sure all these towns are doing something useful. So, Caedonia is still on the process of just continuing to build itself up. 
probably not going to have enough time to build itself up into something effective by the time this campaign ends. But for now, I'm happy just to let it keep building up, keep trying to break, make a little bit of money for myself and, you know, just keep happy, happily puttering away. I doubt the Egyptians will invade it, though it could be on their list. But for now, it looks like it's relatively safe from attack. I mean, Admiral Teos isn't very interested and neither is Admiral Ptolemy. And to be honest, the Egyptians are just 100% focused on, you know, just bullying me over here. So that's, that's absolutely fine. That'll make an attack on Sidon much easier. But I definitely do want to start getting some spies planted in the area. Right. So, Sparta is doing something useful, by the way, as is Corinth, as is Athens. Uh, Larissa, we're not recruiting, but we could be. Let's see. One more unit of slingers, please. Uh, Fermon, let's get you up. Oh, nothing for you to do at the minute, Fermon, right? You're just on growth then. Uh, Admiral Theodecles. I don't really want to blockade Egyptian ports at the minute. Within the Egyptian economy, is so bloody overpowered at this point. Blockading the port isn't going to do me much good. It's just going to get them yes, really riled Lord. up, and that's just going to make me a headache. So for now, I'll leave the Egyptian ports be. I'll only start blockading when we're making our move in. Uh, also, the Egyptians don't blockade my ports, so I guess, you know, that's kind of the one place where we'll be slightly friendly with each other. Uh, right, anyway. Agiricus, you're doing fine up here, aren't you? You're just uh, building uh, in terms of recruitment. Uh, one more unit of ponies won't do you any harm, I guess. I mean, yeah, we'll make it six units. Uh, by Lazora, let's get you working on one more unit of onagers. Um, right, so we're all good here. Apollonia. Uh, preferably would like you to do some recruitment, but your population isn't fantastic and I have your recruitment options. So you know what, I'm going to leave Apollonia to grow for now. Uh, we have an agent in here as well, right? You, Mr. Spy, get to Thessalonica and we'll get you on a boat next turn. We'll send you into the, we'll send you into Asia Minor. Right, Salona, yeah, this time is looking all right. I mean, I think we could try and send a couple of these guys over to, uh, over to the, uh, southern Italy, if I'm honest, like... Mm, we need to retrain our skirmishes, but yeah, I'm not really too bothered about leaving those guys behind. Um, yeah, you know what, we do need extra troops, so let's see what Sire. we can take. We can take some Iberians, Poenis, two Orders. units of Sacred Band, two more Poenis. It's just that some units are going to be a bit deficient. Uh, take the Libyans, Sire. take the Sacred Bands, take the Onagers. Well, it's a bit of a small strike team, but it might be enough to cause some harm, so... See you what, load them onto a boat, and have them ship out to Tarantum, we'll see what we can do with them. Right. And Salona is also surviving, so that's fine by me. So Gestica, I know you're just staying your course, as is Levavum. Patavium, you are good to go, really, so we're going to have your army now just zap out of there. So we are bringing over plenty of Libyans, plenty of Poenis, plenty of cavalry, plenty of slingers, busy. a pretty general non-elephant Carthaginian army. I need to head over there and prepare to start challenging the Brutii near Arimnium because I need those armies clearing out, please. Right, Patavium, you need to start working on some additional recruitment to start recruiting some sacred band cavalry and I'll just backfill with peasants just to get your public order back up to speed, except it's not really going to work. Switch it up to a growth build policy as well. Right, we may have a bit of rioting in Patavian, but it, we might last. Uh, public order is really, yeah, 50% of it is just due to no governance, culture penalty, distance penalty, right. Arimian, could you maybe go with... Oh, wait, Arimian doesn't have a governor. Um, Timerson, will Aretium survive without you? There we go, right. So I'll clear up the no governance penalty here, in, not in Aretium, in Patavian, hopefully. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's cleared it up a little bit, but Patavium just seems to be a bit of a shit city anyway, but maybe as we rebuild the garrison, we'll be fine. Alright, Aretium, you just uh, continue staying your course, and we'll uh, get ready to set off when, whenever you're ready. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, Gesta, you're Lord. building, that's fine, these two towns are doing fine, Mediolanium, uh, recruit additional unit skirmishes, please, right. And we've also got our other dudes, Captain Adabal, you're on your way. Captain Mahabal, you're on your way, and Captain on the guy, I think he's already arrived, hasn't he, right? Uh, yeah, you three towns, just keep on pumping out additional, you know, additional troops for myself, you know, just anything that's a little bit extra, you know, site reinforcements, oh great, bloody rebels as well. Bachim of Elavor has turned up, Garrison here is not good enough to deal with him, right? 
We'll deal with him another day. We'll work on a militia barracks soon. But for now, I'm going to have to just leave him be unless I can set up a patrol. I don't really have any good troops here, but I can, you know, at least requisition some additional troops to help out Condit Redona. But yeah, uh, that's not really too high on my priority list to dealing with those brigands. Um, they can be dealt with, but really, it's not in my immediate interest. Dealing with this guy sort of is because he's blocking up a road I actually use. So Oscar is preparing some troops to deal with him. Once we have these two units done, so we'll be going out in two turns to deal with him. So everyone else is just detouring around for the minute. And Captain Gale and the Cat, you're heading over there. Uh, tell you what, disband those town militia because I just don't have any use for them, please. Um, right. Cafe Gonova, you're preparing additional troops. Uh, but you don't have anything left to do. So, ooh, we could build some stuff, couldn't we? Catapult range? Hmm, tempting. Uh, I'll tell you what, build some slingers for now and I'll get back to you because um, I do need to make sure I'm spending plenty of money on my home territories in Africa. Which I, I, I feel like I'm regarding with a bit of contempt at the minute, but I, you know, I do love this area. I mean, it's because we've been away from it for so long, I don't, I have an issue recognising it as our home. Hmm, anyway. Yeah, I don't really want to retrain all this garbage here. I mean, this, this is just peasants and town militia, so I'll just leave them be for now. Uh, yeah, we're recruiting here. Anything to build? Mm. I feel like a Ludus Magna may increase Heemsful Malaga's skills because he doesn't really have any, but we are building anyway, so we'll leave it for now. Sclabis, you know what you're doing. You always know what you're doing. You're just continuing to be the eternal disappointment is what you're doing. Right, uh, Asturica, I see you're in a, you've gone into a bit of a bad way as well. Right, first thing says retrain actual military units. And then, um, bu -bu 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 -bu. secret police network should probably quash all these local issues that we're having. But if we backfill with one unit of peasants as well, we'll be fine. Uh, Numantia, we need to be recruiting an additional Byrene by We'll just keep building ships for me to deal with Admiral Tagli Tagliatelli, which, which I'm going to call him now. He's just getting in my way. Right, Tingi, where are we up to? We've got a few of these guys. Right, prep one unit of war elephants and then we'll go for Captain Sakabal. Uh I'm only getting the war elephants because I may as well send some, you know, because if I'm sending Yami out, I want to make sure there's some elephants involved. Dimidi. Uh, you can continue recruiting if you want. Start recruiting some Poenis, please. Uh, Nepta, you're fine. Lepsis Magna. Right, let's see where up to here. So I've got Abnul Kartena heading over with his army towards the Egyptians. I've got plenty of elephants, plenty of sacred band, a heavy onager, a couple of slingers, a couple of Libyans. Maybe we could use a bit more cavalry support, so draft in one extra unit of long shields, please. And that's a full army, right? Send that lovely army down. Lepsis Magna, who is now no longer shrinking population, retrain no sacred band cavalry, and um, yeah, one extra unit sacred band cavalry is about to replace the cavalry unit you've lost, and then really I think maybe two more Poenis would do, but we'll deal with that later. In terms of construction, um, I'm feeling a little frivolous. I upgrade the walls just in case things were to go wrong against the Egyptians and one army was to get the drop on us. Um, Fapsus, you're getting a couple of extra troops, which somehow relieves your woeful growth issues, but whatever. So we'll just retrain here. Start working on a unit of heavy onagers as well, please. Carthage, I, I don't think I have a magic wand to fix your issues today, but you can retrain your jet. Oh, wait, about fixed your issues. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I've got my new guy, haven't I? Gisco here. There's some Fearpropedes, right? Gisco is apparently governed. Oh, wait, you, oh, yeah, you're both as bad as each other, aren't you? Gisco and Fearpropedes, right. Who would like to lead an army into the Egyptians or against the Italians or the Romans? Because what's my pick of a litter here? Shit all. I'm not. I'm never setting out for Gisco on camera again. Fiopropides, well done. You've just won the responsibility of going to Sicily, and you will be joining up with whatever's left in Masana, and you will be leading that army because I have said so. It is by decree, and you will follow my decree. You will also work on an academy here to improve your prospects, Gisco, because for, for the time being, I may be drafting you in as a governor for a little bit, and you can work on some sacred band as well. Serta, did I ignore you? I am so sorry, Serta. Right. Let us begin working on some lovely, lovely elephants, and then we shall... Uh, Secret Police HQ is always fun as well. Palmer and Corrales, I have outright ignored you as usual, but to be honest, you're both doing fine. Save the course, make my money. 
And that should be everything. So, that's the turn admin uh, in terms of movement. Sire! Amicus, you're fine. Jubal, yes, mighty lord. you want to have one more go, even though we have no money left? But, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's never going to work, right? You just continue watching, or you can just move up a little bit and just monitor Cyrene as well, because I like to know what's going on over there. Uh, Garrison's really weak. I would love to take Cyrene and Libya. I'm going to try and push for them as well. It's just about taking Libya is going to put me right on Egypt's doorstep. So That's going to be such a hard territory to hold, but it could be worth it if I'm honest. Uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, but yeah, there's no more troops to move. I mean, we're going to not necessarily ignore Egypt, because for now it looks like really we have all the time in the world for dealing with Asia Minor. The Egyptians have very little interest in defending the area, as far as we can see. But I do want to get a spy to start learning the lay of the land and where the Egyptians are moving their troops um, before we commit to anything. Uh, but yeah, number one priority for now is the Brutii, because we're bringing them down. So we've regrouped in Tarenton for now, so we'll retrain and we're going to make our next move next turn. And we're going to try, and like I said, we're getting some armies now to start sitting on these borders and start challenging the Brutii and the Senate. But our main move today will be we're going to get an army rocked up onto this boat, sail, you know, circumnavigate Rome, get it to Capua, take Capua, and have a strong army bordering Rome on the south, while Tarentum and Apollonia and Messana will work on trying to have another crack at Croton. Either way, that is where we are going to call it a turn, so we are going to move on. We'll observe our enemies as we always do, and just see what's going on in the world. So, let us move. Alright, so it looks like nothing from the Romans, but the Egyptians are chasing us about at sea. And we somehow won. Well done. We are supreme. Hmm, I did notice a few Britannians moving around today, but I don't think it should have been anything of concern. I can't even remember where I saw them. I think it was about here. I don't really have much interest in where the Britannians move their troops. They can do whatever they want, if all I'm concerned. I've, I mean, I've been ignoring them for a long time now. They're free to live out their lives in peace. They trade with us. That is all I ask. Anyway, Potavium did riot. I am not surprised. Are they getting out of their system? They are not getting out of their system. Right, that's not good, good for us. Uh, yeah, we need to try and get... I think we have to backfill with a few troops. Uh, Mediolanium, could you maybe half your garrison-ish? And just... Yeah, but now we're just not winning anywhere. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, Adable, you get immediately. Right, medial aim is fine, but yeah, Potavium, I think I've just got to try and fill it with a few extra troops. Anyway, let's see where the enemy's moving about. Looks like the Brutii are regrouping, and they're also bloody multiplying. They're regrouping at Croton, so they're getting ready to make a stand against us. Chase down Nero Arrhenius again and have another crack at him. Well done, he fell right the fuck over. Good job, lad, right. Anyway, Scalab is also rioted. That is never a surprise to me. So, um, uh, just repair. We've got so much barbarian shit as well. But, yeah, I, I, I should get rid of a tavern. But, this, again, the tavern is just culture difference. Get rid of a tavern. Um, this town is just never going to be happy. It is just a fact of life of Scalab at this point. Right, end of turn report. Yeah, we lost money. But at least we are still very, very wealthy. Most advanced faction has gone to Egypt. Faction announcements. Admiral Giskin died. Uh, uh, Chaisis Mynika has been born. And Balhano Hades has come of age. He's currently in Carthage. I should have sent you up to Sicily because you're even better, even though you have an overprotective nanny. Okay. But he's apparently mildly extravagant, untouched by fear, trusty, and he's a natural born general. Okay, Mr. Nanny's boy. Um. Head for Lepsis Magna, because that army will be moving out soon, so you will command the next army to leave there. No more moves, right, sir. excellent. Uh, in terms of other things, Galmakar Oya has a, who is a spy, has gained, well, he's actually just gained the ability to be a spy. Well done, you. Uh, yes, he has learned, he's learned spying. And Heemstall Malaga has now acquired a touch. Dude, don't start going weird on me. 
what is it with people governing Iberian towns and going weird? I mean, yeah, you got. I know you've got a torture, which gives you additional public security now, but it's also increasing unrest. But it's also increasing law. Look, just don't do anything really weird, otherwise that's when I get concerned for my Iberian towns. Uh, also, Agirius Sert gained an overseer, Juba a spice merchant, and Kilitzable Neferis a master of horse. Kilitzable, you just love acquiring masters of stuff, don't you? Anyway, construction report tells me that Numantia has now got a new shipwright, Nabo Martius, a secret police HQ, Scalabis an academy, Thessalonica has completed its awesome temple to Tanit, Kaidonia now has a trader, and if I could scroll down... Oh, wait, there's nothing else to see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Recruit report by Buir. Cafe Gonova has some slingers. Corduba, some sacred band. Numantia, Byrim. Asturica, some peasants. Oscar, some sacred band. Masilla, some Poenis. Demidi, some Poenis. Lugnum, also some Poenis. Sclabi, some peasants. Um, I've lost my place. Oh, wait, I haven't. Don't worry. Medio Lenium has some slingers. Alicia, some Poenis. Messina, some sacred band. Cowrie, Syracuse, some sacred band. Corinth, some sacred band. Bylazora, some onagers. Larissa, some slingers. Ethan, some sacred band. Cavalry, Thessalonica, some Poeni infantry. Aretium, some slingers. And that's the rest. Because everything's just retraining. Right. Whew. A lot of stuff recruited then. Let's put some of this stuff into use. First things first. Egypt, what are you up to? You're just hanging around like a bloody crowd, right? Mr. Cartena, continue moving Onward. forward. We'll no continue to observe. Sire. I will Sire. curse if you want to hang around Onward. near him. That's no fine no by me. Sire. We'll start making a power play. Right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, you. I'm with Chermis. Get yourself to safety, please, where you're not going to yes, be bullied by the Egyptians, and Larissa will provide you with some retraining. Excellent. Also, Larissa, if you do want to recruit something. Let us work on an additional unit of Poenis, please. Thank you very much. Right. What's your temple status, by the way? Oh, and we're building one out with Baal. Cool. Right. Um, bah, 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 right. Spy, by the way. You. Fear prepared is back. Get on there. Get yourself logged off here at Pergamon. And... What do we know about Pergamon? Garrison's okay, but looks like the Egyptians are pretty bad at repairing walls, and I don't, and you know, I don't think they've conquered all this stuff recently. Still, continue getting uh, intel on the Egyptians, because it's looking like we could just ro rock up with a couple of armies here and just help ourselves out to a pretty big chunk of land at this rate, which would be an excellent way to really stick it to the Egyptians and show them that their empire cannot be toppled. Well, can be toppled. If it cannot be toppled, they're going to get very fucking cocky, aren't they? Sire. Right, Yehawian, keep moving Onward. down. I want you in a position Onward. where you can try Sire. and challenge Captain Cornelius. Uh, you, Mr. Abusus, get on board with Admiral Philosia. You will move down to Capua yes, and arrive very, very Onward. soon. Sire. Admiral Cat, you're fine for now. Looks like the Senate are just, you know, kicking their feet around. Mr. Iloki, oh, I've got so much money. Uh, you know what, try and buy Capua. And speak with them at once. Bet if we buy Capua, that'd be brilliant. Oh. One day we'll yes, bribe someone. Right, um... Tarantum, right. Now, there's a lot of brute eye armies in the area, and the issue with all those brute eye armies is they're all in a position where they're going to fuck me over. Uh, Servius Manius himself, though, has gone for a wander, and Croton's garrison is extremely weak. I, great lord. I wonder if I could quickly whisk some troops from Tarantum, land in one turn, and lay siege to the city and take it. It would mean defending it would be harder, but... If a Bruti I don't split their troops in two directions, this could be invaluable. It could be we really got only opportunity to make a quick grab on Croton. High risk involved though, unless Masana was to ship all its troops back over now, Sire. and Sire. then we'd have some troops ready to defend the lands with. I like that idea actually. Send a strike force from Tarantum. Fill up the garrison from Masana. We could make that work. Right, Tarantum. I we need to be ready for action. You also be ready for action. Get yourself here and be ready for movement. Right. Juba, let's get your strike force assembled. We are taking Croton today, so... Bring with you your onagers. All your sacred band. And bring over... Two Poeni. And two sacred band cavalry. That should be sufficient for taking the city. So get yourselves there. I want you to... Where are we going to dock up? We're going to dock... 
Land your troops here. Right, excellent. Right, you. Make your move. Excellent. I don't even know if he'll take part in a battle. I suspect he will, but we'll, we'll see. Right, maintain your siege and await further orders from me. Uh, Garrison is just one legionary regularity, so that's fine. You are... Oh, he's faction leader. Bastard. That's fine. We'll take him down, but there'll be casualties. He's a tough fella to bring down. Okay. Continue to blockade Croton's part as well. Right. Hannibal, you be ready to move, uh, because I'll be sending you on a move. I don't know what this long shield carry's doing here. Send that to Syracuse for retraining, please. Uh, right. Righty-o. Oh. Any other movements I need to commit to right now? You, Himmelkar. I would send him actually to attack here, but for now, just because I don't want to move him and then have the Senate just run up and stab me up the bum. Hold your position. I could put him... I don't know. I could put him here, but then I, that might give, invite Captain Cornelius to attack us. We need to time our attack on him just right in order to guarantee a victory. I'd rather have two armies bring him down just because of the amount of urban cohorts he's packing in this army. I'll wait for my signal for it to attack my men. Instead, I'm going to give a signal now to make our move on Croton. We'll grab it quickly. Backfill with a garrison from Asana. And I think we could make this work. So, Cro so initiate the attack. You've got your onagers. You should have no issue taking this town. There'll be, at best, two units to kill. So move in. And make sure this assault goes well. So he is going to join us. Luckily, actually, even for a faction leader, his garrisons, well, his bodyguard seems a little smaller than usual, totaling only 79 men. Okay, that's fine. As for Captain Placus, he just has a unit of legionaries. I have a good feeling about this battle. I think we'll do it. Fight it on the land map and bring me a victory, please. Otherwise, there will be big questions to be answered if you lose. Today is a day for brave deeds, so that our fame will be known from one end of the world to another. Wherever men admire courage, our names will be known. Now shout out to the gods. Shout your battle cries. Put true fear into the hearts of our enemies, O oh, noble soldiers. This time they will be fearing us. They know this time that nothing is going to go wrong. This time, Croton will be mine. And no one else's. We've been here a few times and every time we've been here it's been an absolute disaster. But this time, we'll make our stand. We'll get the town. And then victory will be mine over the Bruti. I will reduce them to a one settlement faction. Ho 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 yes. Right. Onagers will assault this wall today. We'll I'll always go for the really weirdly undefended wall. So I've got you two lined up there. You know what you're up with. And then Sacred Band, I am just going to go best foot forward today. Just because I want to leave nothing to chance. Poenis, you are here to assist in any future battles. So, but for now, just stay there. Cavalry may have a use for you in this battle just to help bring down that general. Same goes with you, general, as well. But then again, your garrison is pretty small because, well, let's face it, you did take a bit of a beating in the last battle. So I'm not really going to be calling on you as such. I think one unit of Sacred Band Cavalry might be enough to win the day for us. Either way, I want this to happen nice Enemy and effect effectively. Have arrived in battle. I knew he was going to deploy from there anyway, which is why I didn't mention him. Uh, yeah, he's way too far away for me to be bothering with. Um, so, we'll deal with him in the city. Let him let him retreat to his capital. Let him retreat to his tomb, really. We'll be seeing him soon. Right. Onagers, how are we doing? Well, we very slowly zoom over this soon-to-be-on-fire-everywhere city. No, just kidding. This time I'm not going to burn anything down. Since there's no units for me to set fire to. Because they're all bloody camping over there. Uh, onagers. Those shot. Oh wait. you were, I, I was going to say. I thought that shot was arcing a little bit too high. But no. I was wrong. 
You're hitting quite nice in. Oh, there's my lovely navy blockading the ports or just hanging around, really. Either way, this is what I like to see. We've had a presence on the uh, Italian mainland for a long time now, but this time, oh, we're, we're just making it so well known now. We're moving it just to dominate, to expand, to conquer. Oh, Brutii, I remember when you were bashing away at my little homelands and you were going in with no mercy whatsoever. Consider this payback. See how you like it. Okay, Onagers. I don't think there's much else to be known about your what you're doing, so finish this job off nice and please now. And that guy is going into his town, isn't he? Isn't like just running uh, yeah, I can see those gates have opened, right? I'll be seeing you soon, Mr. Malius. I'll be seeing you soon. Have I no Brutus is left actually? I think we've killed them all or they've all died out. Oh dear. They're not very good at keeping their own family houses running, aren't they, the Brutii? I mean the Julia I managed to mean near enough last it till the end, but yeah. They're not very good at just keeping their bloodlines pure. How tragic. How bloody tragic. Right. Keep it going, my man. Oh, my. What's my cracker? One of these weird little mini Dr. Peppers I have. To put me on like some sort of fucking sugar high. I don't know. I've been at work all day, so I need it. It's just nice to see all these walls come down once more, you know. Just once more. I mean, it's becoming routine now, this. I mean, I kind of wish it was, maybe were a bit like random. Obviously, you can't have a randomly generated um, city, but you know. The enemy cannot hide. You have breached right. the walls. And I am Begin the slaughter. Oh, now I am left with a dilemma here. I know this guy on Weldon, Weldon Tard. Um, now, usually, I'd use what's left of my onagers to um, take down a tower, but what if I was to use them just to kill this guy? Tell you what. We usually have a little bit of ammo left over from dealing with the tower. Take down the tower first, then whatever you have left may be used against the general. But I would like that tower to be down just to make sure it is not getting in my way at all. Still, breaching his walls does mean that the Brutii I will most likely get to have an instant battle against me if they do, because I will have these walls repaired in time. Still, that's how it goes. I mean, at least I'm not like the Egyptians who just put off repairing the walls for freaking ages. Right, that tower's out of commission. Good. Okay, Onagers, I want you to move here. Get yourself lined up with a breach. Just do that nice and carefully for me. Good going. Right. Use normal shots only, because I know fire shots won't hit. This time I'm going to authorize normal shots. Take a couple of pot shots. See what you can kill. Because we've already, you know, we've already... We've taken down about 20 of his units. I didn't even notice him walk in, but well... He's managed to flatten most of his own army here, so this guy is not the most gifted leader. Oh! Oof! Right in the face. That scared him off, actually, it looks like. Good. Good, 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 good. I think we won't be dealing with him anytime soon. Well, we will be, right? Call it a day, Onagers. For now, Sacred Band, can we start moving up, please? Um. Let's see, I don't know if it, this guy is going to... Yeah, he's going to hide. Right, that's fine. Uh, take a pot shot on another tower if you want. Otherwise, you can go home if, if for all I care now. Um, sacred Band, I want you to move up and prepare to make an entrance into this city, please. But at the same time, I am tempted to maybe blast in a unit of Sacred Band cavalry to try and lure this guy away. Because I know what this guy's going to do. He's going to take advantage of my unit's slowness into getting to formation when entering the city wall, so it may be worthwhile using a unit of Sacred Band of Cavalry to ward this guy away. Still, we'll see how it goes, because right now he's just plagued with indecision. But, yeah, he's going to fall up here, right. What we're going to do then is, rather than have the Sacred Band, well, you know, the Sacred Band Infantry come in, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try and blast his formation with some Sacred Band Cavalry to try and disrupt his formation enough to allow my Sacred Band Infantry enough time to make a reasonable entrance into the city. That's what I'm thinking, just because this guy's just going to sit around and be in the way. And it, I won't be able to use my spears against him. My, I know my infantry will just get out their swords. So, I think this time if we go with cavalry first rather than infantry first, we may be able to give this guy enough disruption to get some infantry in there and where he doesn't want it. Because all he's going to do is going to sit there and he's going to watch us. Right. Cavalry! Get yourselves in there, give him a great big punch, and then I can try and run some infantry in to, to cover you and basically take over. 
Now, this could be a good move, or it could be a friggin' stupid one, but you know what? I want to experiment with this one. Here we get in there and hit him. We might be able to bring him down, right? Good, 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 good. Right, his formation's disrupted, right? Cavalry, try and pull him away. Right, oh god, stamina's holding up in my. Oh no, my unit's collapsing, right? No, no, no. Right, engage him, engage him, right? While he's busy, one unit of Sacred Band, get in there and see what he can do, but. It looks like this was not the best move I've ever come up with, but you know what, I gave it a go. This unit is ranting, right? And we barely took any of his down. That was a poor performance, men. That was a poor performance. And again, I, really, I shouldn't really have expected better. You are technically light cavalry. Oh well. Maybe my sacred band will have a better chance, but I'm going to send him in one at a time. I'm going to just confuse everything by sending in multiple per, per time. If we're... Maintain your phalanx formation if you can, men. Do not get your swords out. I'll just get your swords out and just don't fucking listen to me. Whatever. And then get your spears out. Look, guys, just make your mind up on what you're doing. I kind of wish I maybe had brought some skirmishes now at this point, but it's alright. His unit seems to be getting weaker still. I don't think this general's going to last as long. His bodyguard seems just so inadequate today. That's that? No, you know what? I'll let him have an inadequate bodyguard because you know what? That means it's going to go down all easier for me. Alright, bring him down. He's getting a promotion in the field. That'll be his last promotion ever. I'm telling you that now. I don't even know why he's getting promoted for losing, but whatevs, whatevs, whatevs. Which my men were getting promoted more often. But again, if we were, if we were getting promoted for losing, we would have like fucking gold chevron troops all over the place in the beginning of this campaign, wouldn't we? Right. Bring this general down, bring him down as effectively as you can. Then I can happily say that, well, the Hootiai are a bit more dead. At least they, get, they are just about dead. I mean, two family members down in one turn. How about that? It really is. I mean, these guys have been on the precarious point for a while now, but now it's becoming all that more precarious and it's all the more flinking. Alright, some of our guys have resorted to swords again for some reason, but it's, I'm going to let them off this time. We've got this unit down to 10 men. Men, can we try and keep focused by we're not getting magnetically attracted to houses? Which I don't really understand. Come on, he's there. They're behind. They're, he's behind you. The big bad brute behind the... Is it? Oh, he's routing. Drive them from the battlefield. Okay, we'll deal with him soon. Sacred Band, we are now free to enter this city. Make your way up this street and await further orders, please. How did you get all the way over there? You bloody idiot. Right, whatever, right. Sacred Band, just move in and get ready for the final showdown. I think you three will be more than capable of winning this. I don't really want to send in the other Sacred Band cavalry. So you know what, General, I, I said I wasn't going to use you, but I'm going to use you now. Because the other Sacred Band unit, yeah, they, they got fucking wiped in this battle. And to be honest, that was my fault, really, at the end of the day. It really was. I mean, they're actually, they've just about gone now, but yeah. It was my fault they, they, they um, got wiped out. I shouldn't really have put them against the General's bodyguard. So I will take that one on my shoulders. Right, anyway, man. Keep up the good work. Keep moving in. The general will be backing you up. We will make our position on this plaza here. So we will set up here and then we'll make our final move. Because this guy may come over and say hello to us again. But to be honest, I think he is just going to go down. So his unit's too weak now. And all he's going to do is charge into a wall of spears. It isn't going to work out for him at the end of the day. So, General, if you would like to position yourself as well, you can make your way into this one. Which I don't know which way he's going to take, but he'll probably take the way back. It's really stupid. Yeah, he's going to take the way back. It's going to result in him getting killed. Right, well, that's his uh, that's his issue now. I am no longer in the mood for... Oh, wait, he's actually going to take the smart route. Right, well done you. Because usually I can no longer be bothered with a pathfinding in these battles anyway. Because, yeah, I just had to go... I have to make sure I have to mention pathfinding somewhere in this siege. This is practically becoming my trope now. But let's face it, the pathfinding can be so fucking whacked. Right. While we wait for the general to rock up, should we make our line? Obviously, no setting foot on the plaza. Otherwise, we set the enemy off into a wild frenzy. Instead, make your formation near the plaza. And if this guy runs over, well, you know what to do. Stick a great big spear in his face to shut him up for life. Or forever. Because there won't be a lot of life left in him after the end of this battle, really, will there? Anyway, just get moving in, men. 
stare behind you while you host some sort of weird nodding formation. I don't really know what that's all about, but it were yep. Yeah. It's like laying down a fucking death trap right behind him, isn't it? I mean, look at all those spears lying down. You may think this is like a cool photo pose, but you think, oh, look at me and my amazing army. Except, nope, it's me and my amazing army, not you and your crap army. Okay, sacred band, we're all setting foot now. So that means the legionary cars are going to run over and get, go, what the actual fuck do you think you're doing, mate? But that's fine. Oh, there he goes. He fucking flew like a rocket. Roman leader is dead. And his men feel your wrath. Where did the body... Oh, wait, there's the body. I think if that is him. I don't think that is... No, where, where the... F no, there he is. Jeez, man, you fucking flew, didn't you? Bloody hell. Right. Infantry. I don't like being pelted by a pillar's men. Close distance now. Don't let them just stand around and skirt... Right, guys, actually, freeze it. Spears down. There we go, right, he's clashed into three units at once, which means this guy is going to get absolutely fucked. Right, cavalry, you've got your hammer and anvil all set up nicely for you. I mean, seriously, this guy is not in a great position. He's trying to, I think he's trying to distract himself and find something else to pick on, but as it stands, all three units are doing what they can. We are suffering quite a few losses, though, but I think at the end of the day, we will make it through this one because General is coming in around now. General, three, two, one, go for it. Finish, finish the job, please. There we go. That's really crap. Their morale down. Obviously, their morale isn't going to run out because of them being on the plan. So this is the only place they can route to. But at least the general gets this nice little Sunday glow. And guys, come on, you can do better than that. Thank you. Right. Should be able to bring this guy down. He's being attacked on all different angles now. Guys, move in and go for the final kill. There we go. Somewhat disorganised, but either way, it's going to get the job done today. The enemy has no chance whatsoever. They are surrounded and they have now lost another tower. Oh, is he going to? There he goes. Smile upon you today. The enemy general has been killed and his men lose heart. I don't think we had a lot of hearts anyway. I mean, they only really joined this battle because they had to. I mean, they realised that they are going to have to fight me at some point. I mean, they could have surrendered, really, but I guess, really, if they surrendered, the general might have found them beaten them up or something. So, um, yeah, whatever. Bring these last few defenders down and then call it a day, my man. You've done good to take this town. We've finally found our opportunity in taking it. We must now make sure we can hold on to this town for a few turns while we prepare to bring down the Brutei once and for all and crack their last few armies. It's not going to be easy, but I think with a little bit of elbow grease, you men will be more than capable of stepping up to the task. Okay, we're bringing this army down now. So bring this guy down. The last one left, please. Victory is sweet indeed. And all the sweeter for being so decisive. Well done, man. You've done a good job. That is one dead Brutei army. Yeah, pretty much... Looks like it kind of went even. Losses were actually pretty minimal on my side, but I think I did not give those Sacred Band Cavalry a very good deal in this battle. Either way. Victory is ours, mighty one. Settlement Exterminate the city. Help myself. Man, that is a lot of loot. And that makes me very, very happy. So, retinue expense brother, Juba Gisco now has a Galloper, which will give us extra command when on the offensive. And he also has a Roman turncoat, which will give us additional command when fighting the Romans. This is good. Right. Repair those walls. Retrain what you can. I'm going to merge these guys up and I will disband this unit. And, um, yeah. Just get ready. I am sending you additional reinforcements now from the, uh, oh, fuck. I didn't send them over properly. Shit. I thought I put Minya in here already. Right. Well, if they have to siege us, they'll have to wait, so, right. That was me being an absolute fucking moron there, right? Just get moving, and we'll deal with you next turn. I think the Brutii might not attack us anyway. And even if they do, I'll send Tarantum's body... Tarantum's guard around to the back. Right, that's me being... I mean, seriously, I just got fucked about right up the sky there, didn't I? Right, Masana is sulking. We are going to give him some additional recruitment, and then just, yeah, just go for a, like, mega peasant drive or... Syracuse, can you spare a couple of troops? Spare some sacred bands, spare a general oh, even. There we go. That'll keep Masana happy for a little longer. So, right, Masana, we can swap out all those guys because I am not fucking recruiting all those dudes. Right, excellent. 
Right, so does that put us at the end of the episode today? Not quite, actually. we still got a little bit of time left today. So, you will go to Syracuse for now, and you will await for the army to be prepared. We will beat ourselves up about Croton later. Um, for now, we're sorted here. More or less sorted here. I don't think there's really a lot of troop movements left to do. I mean, against Egypt, we're more or less sorted. So... I think what's more, it's just time to administrate the end of his turn. So, first of all, for the Decles, you are headed for Lepsis Magnus, so that's cool. Um, Kaidonia, let us begin some more construction. So, work on some roads, uh, just to start getting some trade in. Sparta, let's work on... I want more Sacred Band. I love having Sacred Band. I think having at least five per army might be a good ballpark to go for. Uh, in terms of, yeah, we're good in Athens for a construction, by the way. Uh, Larissa, I dealt with you earlier because I know I did. Did I not? Yes, I did. Thessalonica, um. Mm, I went for Tanit here, didn't I? So I can't get more Sacred Band. Um. I could use another unit, Sacred Band Cavalry in this army, if I'm honest. And then one more orange. I'm just going to stack because you know what? We've got so much friggin' money now. Uh, actually, we have so much money. Could, oh, wait, I've Great used all one. your to moves. Actually, you know what? I've got so much money. I could buy an Egyptian army. Right, you. Can you go and buy me an army or something? Like, seriously, I've got all this fucking money. Oh, my God. You bloody tight bastards. I could get, I could have given you 40,000 denarii just to piss off, but you wouldn't. I would have set you up for once. life, right? Ugh. Some people there, they just don't want money. Ah, right, by Lazara. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, nothing to really build, but we can always work on... Get a few more Pawanis. Uh Apollinia and Fermon. Yeah, I'm going to leave you be for now, unless there's any construction to do here. But there is not... Salona, the same can be said of you, but let's just get all those auto managements off before you recruit something I don't want. Uh, so let's set you up on your growth build policy, by the way. Right. So, Gestica, you're fine. Potabium, I've done what I can with you to try and avert your mega soul cough. Uh, Lavavum, you're okay. Mediolanium, another unit sacred band, please. So, Gesta, start working on an additional. Actually, no, I do a Libyan Spearman. Uh, Eretium, let's see, Libyan Spears, please, um, Arimnium, also some Libyan Spears, please, and also in terms of construction, eh, Execution Square for just in case, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. right, you three cities, it's going to be Slinger, Slinger, Slinger now, just work on some Slingers for me, in terms of construction, by the way, uh, start work on a merchant's quarter in Massilla. Start working on. I have nothing really bad to build for of you. Alicia. Uh, yeah, Alicia. Actually, no, Alicia's getting a bit in the blue. Start working on a secret police network for Alicia, please. Right, Condit Redernum. Captain Daniel, you get in there. And we was, we're still not really quite ready to go against that dude just yet. Uh, Lim Limonum, you're fine. You get in there with Oscar, and then Oscar, if you could just retrain, and then we will move against that rebel on the next turn. Uh, Captain Sire. Abydus, you just keep on moving. Mighty Captain Daniel, you keep on moving as well. Um, ba -ba 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 but make sure you're heading for Sagesta, please. Um, Ratio, so it's Oscar, nothing to build by the way, is there Oscar? There's always things to build. Start working on the city barracks, please. Palmer, anything for you to build? Not really. Corrales, yeah, not really, but you can retrain your Queen Kareems. Uh, Café Nova. let's work on one more unit of Slingers as well. Corduba, start working on additional Sacred Band. And, yeah, there's not anything to build in here, by the way. Not really. Numantia, one more Byreen, please. Actually, no, do a Trine now. Oh, those pirates are fucked off. Oh, wait, he's over here now, isn't he? Well, yeah, just get that Trine, then maybe we'll be a bit ready in case pirates do turn up again. Asturica, you seem to have recovered yourself quite nicely, so you're just working on construction. Scalabis, not even bothered. Uh, Corduba, yeah, we've dealt with you. Tingi, just waiting on those elephants, and we'll move out on the next turn. 
Serta, uh, let's recruit some. Oh, we're recruiting already. Anything to build? Yeah, not really, because you're building anywhere. Carthage, you're sorted for now. Fapsus, oh, anything to build in Fapsus? Uh, Secret Police Network might just give you a little helping hand as well. Lepsis Magna, ba -ba -ba boom. Uh, you're actually fine, aren't you? Yes, you are. I can put the taxes up in Lepsis if I wanted to, but I might not for now. Um, Nepta, you're always fine. Dimidi, you can start working on... You could do Royal Cavalry Stables here if you wanted. Uh, work on a Grand Bazaar, actually, and then also work on some Slingers. Uh, and Tingy, we've established this fine. Right, cool. I think that's everyone dealt with. Uh, were there some Rebels around here, by the way? I thought I saw a couple of knocking around in this area, but I'm guessing my eyes were deceiving me today. That's fine, because if it means I can't see the Rebels, I don't have to bother with them. Still, I think we will call that another turn. Another turn done. Gonna have to cross my fingers and hope Brutia I don't attack Croton now, after I kind of sugared up that bit. Um, but I think we might just get away with it. So, let's hope I actually get away with it. <laughs> so let's move on to the next turn. Cross our fingers, and then prepare for any battles we may have to fight. Disembark! Right, so I got lucky again in that the Brutii I didn't bother with my other army, but I'd forgotten to move. Uh, well done, me. Uh, right, Batavium's having a bit of a riot again, because Batavium just loves to be a pain in my ass. They are slowly getting it out of their system, however, so we might be able to hold out. And, oh, can we just, like... Uh, yes, yes, no, don't even bother with retreat. Just make it all peasants for now. Ugh, God. Seriously, Patavian, you just let you just annoy me so much. Um I think we need to install more garrison if I'm honest. Right, Mediolanium, can I just siphon off maybe two more troops? Mm, it's actually made a difference there. Uh, and you can just have more peasants, Mediolanium. There we go. Enjoy the crap. There we go, right. Uh right, so who else was writing by the way? No, wait, we'll be siege. Yeah. Croton has come under siege. Luckily the Brutii abiding their time, so I'm gonna have to disembark my troops, and I think we're gonna have to fight this one on the field against it. Oh my god, look at all that artillery, right? But we may be able to Assassin make light of this one. What we also can make light of, Captain Cornelius has wandered off, so we can pursue him now. Uh, by the way, take down Cornelius Silanius for committing a crime of. Gee, what is, even is that headshot, man? I don't really care about what your ear looks like, so. Make sure the knife goes in there, please, because that would be a weird way to die. Oh, for fuck's sake. You couldn't even stab someone in the ear. You are useless sometimes, right? Recruitment report, by the way. Cafe Gonova has some slingers. Numantia Trium. Carthage, some sacred band. Tinky, some war elephants. Oscar, some long shield cavalry. Serta, some armored elephants. Missilla, some slingers. Dimidi, some slingers. Fapsa, some heavy onagers. Look to them, some slingers. Scalabra, some peasants. Uh, Leptus Magnus, Sacred Band Cavalry, Sagesta, some Libyan Spears, Alicia, some Slingers, Depatavium, some Sacred Band Cavalry, Arinium, some Sacred Band, By Lazarus, some Poenis, Larissa, some Poenis, Aretium, some Libyan Spears, Terrence, some Long Shield Cavalry, and that's the lot. Right. Uh, end of turn report. Money is coming in, so that's cool. Most advanced faction is us again. Uh, faction analysis, so Terra's been born, Zalmoxis Hydramentum has acquired an Armorer, and Hiram Arsino has a Quartermaster. Cool. And construction report, Corduba has great estates, Corrales has a secret police HQ, Condate Redonum has a paved road, Segesta an academy, Levavum some communal farming, Sparta an execution square, as does Corinth, Aretium a large temple to Baal, so let's just upgrade that to the final level now, and also Tarantum has established a temple to Milkart, so let's just undo that and work on that. And, um, yeah, that's all just repairs. Right, cool. So that's our notifications gone through. And we are more or less at the one hour mark now. So I think that is where I am going to call it an episode now. And on the next episode, we are going to resolve whatever's going on here because my mismanagement has caused a bit of a situation. So next time, 
Well, actually, we were just once more starting off where we started at the beginning of this episode, except we do hold Croton now, so that's a nice little bonus. But once more, fixing my own stupid mistakes. I guess, really, I couldn't really win this one without me trying to sabotage myself subconsciously, so, yeah. See you on the next episode, my friends. Ooh, looks like the Egyptians are on the move by the way. I wonder if they've spotted my spy or... Oh, <laughs> oh dear, you don't even own roads anymore. Good, 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 good. By the way, if you have a Colossus, you get more naval trade. I can't select like, shit in this area, can I? Ooh, that's a bit of an army. Hmm. I mean, that might have just put me off taking roads for now. Oh, well. We'll have a look later. See you later, my friends.